everyone! Today I'm here to talk to you about my finished objects. I made um, some little holder things to hold the holder things <laughs> to um, basically keep the uh, caked up skeins of yarn sort of from becoming like too loose and floppy. And um, this one's the first one that I made, and I actually ended up making it a little too small. Um, basically you just start like you know you do in the it's basically it's worked in the round and then um, yeah so it's just a mesh pattern and um, then you do the little ties and stuff but this one I, I had made it for I was gonna make it for this particular um, skein of yarn and um, I made this one too small so I had to make another one um, and that's okay so you can see that's off center but whatever so this one's just holding my um, my yarn for my hitchhiker that I'm working on all right now the next thing okay this is the um, these are obviously crocheted socks and the pattern is called crocheted socks by Sue Norad I'll put links below and then everything I'm pretty sure is updated on my Ravelry page so um, you can see that if you want it's a really straightforward and easy pattern um, and you can see this one actually turned out great this is the second one but I will show you that the first one did not turn out as well I mean it's not bad and it's I'm not I'm obviously not gonna go back and redo it but um, yeah see it's got a weird lump and it's because I think I added a, I, no, I didn't think I added a stitch, I know I added a stitch, and I had to go, and I didn't realize it, and so I had to, like, decrease in. And then I forgot to turn, and so that's why this little section looks different than the rest. But these I just made just for, um, hanging out at the house, so I'm, I was not really fussed about it or whatever, and I'm not gonna redo it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, this is made from just some acrylic yarn, Vanna's Choice. Maybe not necessarily the best for socks, but, um, and I would obviously not use these if I was, if I were, you know, um, making socks for like, you know, wearing in shoes. But these are just for keeping my feet warm when I'm, you know, sitting around playing Super Mario or something. Okay, and then I've got this hat. Um, this is just my own hat, uh, pattern I don't know I think I'm not doing a tutorial for this because I thought this would be like if you if you've never um, knitted before or if you know you're you know not if you ever made a hat before a knitted hat before I thought this might be a good beginner um, project it's one by one ribbing plain stockinette and then just decreases at the top um, the yarn is, I love this yarn, and, um, that's from Hobby Lobby, and obviously it's the, like, team one, like, you know, they have, like, the team colors or whatever, and, uh, in orange and black. Yeah, I live in Cincinnati, so that happens. Um, <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, go Bengals. Anyway, um, I, I actually, I bought some of this sort of team spirit yarn in, uh, it's the, the red heart kind and blue and white for my brother-in-law. He's a big UK fan and, um, University of Kentucky. And so I bought that for him and, uh, I, don't, I think I might do a video like comparing the two because there are differences but anyway I will talk about all that other stuff later but yeah I just want to show you my hat this has been done for a while some of this has been well some of this has been done for a while and some of it I just finished so well the socks I finished a couple of days ago three days ago or something like that okay this um is the Cashew Powell by Galea Leo I believe is how you pronounce her name. Um, 
and the pattern is it's free on Ravelry and it's actually a bigger cowl um it's wider and longer but I wanted to use this skein of yarn and I only had the one skein and it's a 50 gram um skein of yarn so it's you know not very big so I just I shortened or I shortened I narrowed the pattern and then I just worked to the end of the yarn and then I stitched it together um yeah so let's see can you see yeah that's my hand for reference so and I don't have particularly long hands so um I can double it up twice it does double it's not necessarily like the you know it's not one of those like real droopy hanging scarves but um it will definitely keep your neck warm here's the back seam or the back and where the seam is and um, you use a kitchener stitch to graft it together and, I, and that way you can see the the yarn the color changes in it this yarn is um, lion brand amazing and the color is vineyard I actually really like the colors I thought it is nice and um, I don't know it does look like a vineyard like these look like the color of like the stems and there's a little green in there and it's all great however the only part that I was like eh, you know a little like perturbed about uh, were these two sections here there is like I said there is some green you can see um, there's a little green in there well right here it just happened to be pretty much only green there wasn't any um color to mix it in with or you know it wasn't stranded together with whatever with a different color so you know it you can see that uh, but it's fine it is worked um lengthwise instead of like that and so it ended up making them be vertical when you're wearing it so I don't think it's that bad yeah so there's that I I actually really like the pattern. I will probably, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I will make this again. All right. And then the last thing, okay. And the last thing is, um, this, this is, I called him the Tizzy Hedgehog because that's the, this is Bernat Tizzy yarn. Um, but, but the pattern is Heidi Hedgehog and it's by Janik, uh, McMahon. Um, I'm sorry. I just used um, some Red Heart Super Saver, I believe, yeah, um, for the face, and uh, Bernat Tizzy, and I can't remember the colorway. It's like, I want to say it's like Sweet Pea? I don't know. It's obviously the green one. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, it's on my Ravelry page if you want to see it. And I didn't put legs on it. She did not have legs on her pattern, and so I didn't put them on mine either. And I figured that would be just something that they would get tore off. Um, and then I embroidered the little face, like the eyes and the nose, with just embroidery floss. And, um, yeah. He's really cute. This is for my niece. And I think she'll really like it. Um, this yarn, let me just talk about this yarn. It is very soft and in the skein it was like you know so squishy and obviously it, it drew me in and that's the reason that I bought it um however I do not like working with this yarn it is a pain in the behind um you can't actually see your stitches at all when you're working with it or at least I couldn't I had to feel my stitches I could feel like sort of where where to put my hook when I was going back in it because I there, you can't see it it's just a big fluffy mess of stuff um, so it was a little bit difficult to work with and in and, and because of that I ended up making a mistake I can tell I could tell once I got it um, stuffed I, I think I missed a stitch or I decreased where I wasn't supposed to or something or I don't know but anyway so there's like a weird like a ridge right there but overall um I think it's really it's a cute pattern I just won't use this yarn again this is not the yarn that she recommended either with the pattern 
just so it's not the pattern's fault. She used, I think, fun fur or fun fur equivalent. Um, but yeah, I had this on hand and I wanted to use it. Um, yeah. And then I just stuffed it with some polyfill. As for the, the yarn, um, or for the rest of the yarn, I had a little over a skein or half a skein left. And I tried to use it in a different way, but it just was not working. Um, it was, I tried to knit with it. I tried to crochet with it with like bigger hook, with a bigger hook, bigger needles. I even broke out like my jumbo knitting needles, which I don't even know why I have. I think I must have used them for something. They're like size 50. It still is so hard to work with this yarn. Um, so I won't be buying this again. Of course I say that and then I'll probably buy it again, but I have no intentions of buying it again. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.